Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I am back with the World Series, the 1994 World Series. This is the start of the World Series. My White Sox have battled their way all the way through to the World Series, and we're taking on the Houston Astros. Now, as you'll recall, the real-life 2005 World Series 2005 was the Astros and the White Sox, and the White Sox swept the Astros. But this is 1994, many, many years before that, and in a year where uh, it was a strike-shortened season or a lockout-shortened season or somehow some kind of shortened season that never had the World Series actually played and never had all the games played. So um, that's where we are. We're going to have Jack, Black Jack McDowell going up in this first game against Greg Swindell. You remember Greg, Greg Swindell. Um, Jack McDowell, I, I think this is probably the playoff records. Um, so let me see. Yeah. So these are their playoff records. McDowell's 3-0 and with a 360 earned run average in the postseason. And Greg Swindell is 2-0 and with a 129. So Swindell has been on top of his game. want to also mention, this is the World Series. So I'm not going to just play one game and then come back later and say, oh, guess what happened in the World Series? No. this is the. I'm going to play the first two games here. And then we are going to... Um, and then, you know, at a later time, I'm going to play the next two games. So this is going to be like an hour-long video. It's going to be two games, uh, the first two games of the World Series, as I say. So uh, with that, let's get on with the game. Everything, I think, is set and ready to go. I have turned down the sound on the uh, or the recorder. The recorder is not picking up the uh, the game sounds or the computer sounds, hopefully. Uh, shouldn't be. And uh, you can see the lineups here. We've got Joey Cora leading off. We are at Houston. Um, then Ozzie Guillen at shortstop, batting second. Frank the Big Hurt Thomas at first base, batting third. Darren Jackson in right. Robin High Ventura at third. Tim Raines Sr. Rock Raines is going to be in left field. Carco Weiss is the catcher. And Chris Morgan will be in center field with McDowell, the ninth batter, and pitching. For the Astros, they will lead off with Craig Biggio, their second baseman. Steve Finley will bat second, the center fielder. Jeff Bagwell at first base. Caminiti at third base. Uh, Luis Gonzalez in left field. Uh, Kevin Smallmouth Bass will be in right. Tony Eusebio will be the catcher. Uh, Justin Aubin is going to be their shortstop. I don't know who Justin Aubin is. Again, as I say, every video recording for Out of the Park, this is an Out of the Park game. Out of the Park has a tendency to bring people up from the minors who were never actually on your team, even make up players who never actually played baseball. Uh, that could be the case for us with Chris Morgan, and it may also be the case with this Justin Aubin guy. Um, and then Craig Swindell, their pitcher, uh, batting ninth. And so we will get on with this bad boy. And we are batting. We're uh, visiting. So we're batting against uh, Joe or it's Joey Cora leading off. And the Astros in their old, you know, the dark blue uniforms that they had. And... Uh, that's going to be an out. We lead off with one out, one down quickly. And that's going to be a nice hit. No, it's not going to be a nice hit. It's a fly out to uh, left field. And with two down quickly, you got the big hurt stepping in. The big hurt, Frank Thomas. And Frankie, did he go deep? I think he did, and we got a one nothing lead just like that from Frank Thomas. If one of those guys before him could have just managed to get on base, that would have been nice. 
But anyway, we have Darren Jackson now, the right fielder. So Swindell is already losing one nothing, and he goes right up the middle with a base hit. So after two quick outs, we get a run with the uh, Thomas Homer and then um, Darren Jackson ripping a single. And now we got Robin High Ventura is going to rip a single, and we got to have two guys on. And we're going to have runners at the corners, not only. So, hey, there you go. Runners at the corners, two down. Tim Raines in one of the biggest at-bats of his life. And he's going to be out. So we only get the one run, but, hey, we got one run, and we lead one nothing. And let's see if Black Jack McDowell can hold us down. Hold us, uh, hold the Houston lineup down. That's going to be a pop-up for Bijan. So there's one away and Steve Finley is up. And Steve Finley is going to rip a base hit. So Steve Finley is aboard. Now Steve Finley has some speed, or at least the Steve Finley I knew about had some speed. So let's do a pitch out. And I guess he's not going. So we will pitch to the batter. And uh, he's out. Struck him out. Uh, one down. Is it? No, it's two down. Two down and a man at first base and Ken Caminiti up. Ken Caminiti, a tough customer, of course, you know, he had a drug problem and ended up uh, dying from that uh, tragically. But uh, we go to the... Top of the second inning, and we got Ron Carco Vice, power hitting catcher. Not much on the average or the on base, but he hit for power, and he couldn't beat that out. He does he also was not known for speed. So there's one down quickly, and our man Chris Morgan, the made up outfielder, the made believe out of the park baseball outfielder, rips the ball down the left field line, and he's going to have a double. He's pulling in with a double. So, uh, Things going badly early here for Swindell. And uh, Black Jack McDowell is the batter. You know what? I should bunt, and I will. I, I don't like bunting. If you know me, I hate bunting. Um, but with a pitcher who isn't a very good, obviously not a good hitter, even with two strikes, I'll, I'll do it. And you know, it's foul, and so he's out, but big deal. So one, uh, two down and a man at second. That was a very bad time for Black Jack McDowell to be able to play. But we got Joey Cora. He can rip a hit when you need it, and he doesn't in this particular case. So it looked pretty promising, but uh, we end up, my God, my nose is itching like mad here. Uh, we end up um, still only uh, up one nothing with McDowell pitching. In the uh, bottom of the second, that's going to be a fly out to left. So there's one down quickly. Um, Kevin Bass is the batter. And Kevin Bass is going to get a base hit. So they, the Astros start the second the way they started the first, with a one-out base hit. And uh, Tony Eusebio, their catcher, I don't recall him ever having been a very good hitter. And he's going to hit into a double play and end the inning. And that means that next inning, they're going to have that make-believe guy batting and then uh, Swindell, the pitcher. So next inning might be very good. Let's see if we can pad our lead here, though, ourselves with Guillen up. Guillen is going to hit it up the middle and be out, thrown out by the second baseman, Biggio. Frank Thomas, who is one for one today with a home run with a big jack. And did he do it again? He did it again! He's going to be two for two with two home runs. Frank Thomas. He is a fire in the face of Swindell right now. And Darren Jackson comes up with one down. And he's going to pop the ball up to shallow center field. There is two down quickly and Robin High Ventura. Robin High Ventura hit a home run, did he? Did he? No. <laughs> it's a fly ball. All right. I didn't want to, I tried to get you excited there. But anyway, we have a 2 nothing lead, though. 
and a good lineup for us from our standpoint coming up to face Black Jack, the made-believe guy, is out, and that should bring up Swindell. And it does. They should be letting him bat. They can't afford to be going through their bullpen already. And he is thrown out. And up steps uh, Craig Biggio, whose son, you might know, plays for the uh, Toronto Blue Jays currently in real life. And uh, that was a quick inning, which I expected. Now let's see if we can pad the lead. Let's pad, I mean really pad the lead with some serious runs. We got Rock Reigns up. And he is going to ground out to short. It looks like, and he does. And uh, Ron Karkovice. And that, Ron Karkovice, did he go deep? No, he didn't. It's shallow fly to right. And uh, up steps Chris Morgan, who hit about it's something like 238 on the year for us. We go to the bottom of the fourth. I got to shave my mustache or something because my nose is itching like crazy. All It always happens when I do a video, whenever I'm doing something. Like if I was just laying down watching football right now, nothing would be itching. I wouldn't have any problems. All right, the Astros got a man aboard with Bagwell up. And, oh, there's a trying to steal. Is he out? And, uh, no, he was safe. It was Finley. That time I should have been. Oh, and they're going to rip it down the line and score a run there with a double. So Houston manufactured a run with a stolen base by Finley. And then a double by the guy after him. And now Ken Caminiti is up. Dangerous Ken Caminiti. And he's going to hit the ball to center and maybe not tie the game. No, but they will have runners at the corners with no outs. I'm going to play the infield back. Not a big believer in bringing the infield in either. If you know me, you know that. And uh, that is going to be a base hit that ties the game right there. It's 2-2. Two to two. So the score is Houston 2 and Frank Thomas 2. And that brings up Tony Eusebio. Got to believe we cannot get him out. We can't get him out. And we're going to try to throw out the runner at the plate, which probably isn't going to work. And so now Houston has a lead. They are leading the World Series in Game 1 here, Game 1 of the World Series, by the score of 3-2. to two, And Black Jack McDowell is getting his butt handed to him. All of a sudden, he is not, um, he's not the McDowell we were used to, but it is only 3-2. to two. But the only guy that can get us runs is Thomas, and that's not good. We're going to the top of the fifth. Swindell is still out there as well he should be. McDowell at the plate, and he strikes out, as you would m probably expect to have happen. Corey, jo Joey Cora is the catcher, or is the second baseman and the batter, and he flies out to right field. I'm having tr problems with my mouth there. And Ozzie Guillen is the batter with two down quickly, and he is going to hit the ball down the line. Maybe that's a double. That is. He's going to work a double out of that. Nice. So we got Gian at second and Frank Thomas up, and you know Swindell wants to walk him. And he doesn't, and he rips a base hit. I'm going to say send him. I don't even care. And it did. It worked, and it's 3-3. So... We got Darren Jackson up, and Darren Jackson is going to ground into an out, and it's a good thing I sent the runner, but we do have a tie game, and again, it's because of Frank Thomas knocking the run in. He's knocked in all three runs that we have. We are in the bottom of the fifth with uh, Biggio batting against McDowell, and that's going to be a base hit between short and third. And a man at first, and Steve Finley up. And they bunt. They're going to bunt the man over. Now, usually I should say I like that, because you've just given me an out. Um, but um, let's see what happens. Did we get him? He's out. No, he's safe. All right, so now they got a man at third with one down. And they know I don't like to play the infield in. And that's a deep fly, so that is going to score the runner. And they take a 4-3 to three lead. 
with Ken Caminiti up at the plate. And the, he hits Caminiti. McDowell not having really a great outing here. And he gets a, and then there's a ripped hit between second and first. Let me take a look. I can't see where his bar is at because of the, uh, the computer. Uh, let's see. Can I do it this way? Nope, I still can't. So we're going to take a look at where his bar is at, where he's at. It doesn't look like he's tired yet. So I'm going to go back to the game. And we're going to pitch to Kevin Bass. And he strikes out, and that is the inning. But the uh, Astros have taken a 4-3 to three lead as we go to the top of the sixth in this first game of the World Series. Um, and that's going to be a ground out, it looks like, to shorten it is. One down quickly for Tim Rock Reigns. And he's going to hit the ball up the middle, so he gets on. And that brings up Ron Carco Vice, power hitting catcher. If he could just get one, no, he can't. He's going to pop it out to third base or in foul territory, maybe to the catcher. I don't know. And uh, Chris Morgan is up. And Chris Morgan beats it out. But unfortunately, now I've got McDowell up. Now I could warm somebody up but they would have to get really they'd have to get warmed up really quickly i'm gonna do it though i'm gonna warm someone up in the bullpen roberto Hernando, he's the closer i'm gonna get mccaskill mccaskill's gonna get up in the bullpen and i am going to pinch hit for um yeah Oh, wait a minute. I can't. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Because I can't see the bottom of the screen, I can't pinch hit for um, for Thomas. God. That's unbelievable. All right. Well, I mean, what are you going to do? Um, I don't know how to solve that problem. So we're just going to let McDowell hit, I guess. And he, he's going to get on by an error. Are you kidding? Oh, my God. He got on by an error. That it was a big error. Could be a huge error by Biggio right there. And Joey Cora is up. And Joey Cora, did he hit a home run? He hit a home run. Joey Cora went deep. My God, Houston is in trouble now all of a sudden. That was crazy. We've got a 7-4 to four lead now. And then Ozzie Guillen up. And he is going to ground out. But, man, we got huge. We got a huge uh, number of runs there. And I'm going to let McDowell pitch to the first batter at least. You got to think he's getting tired, though. He's not really. He has not been sharp. So I'm going to go get. Uh, I am going to go get uh, McCaskill, who is ready. So we're going to bring McCaskill in for McDowell. We're going to pitch, and uh, McCaskill just throws out the runner. Looks like he might have been bunting, so he bunts the runner over. I don't know why you're down by three runs. You need more than one. So uh, McCaskill now is pitching to Beal. Jeff Beal, and he strikes out. Gave him the high heat on that one. And Craig Biggio, the second baseman, and he's going to strike out. So Houston comes away with nothing. And we've got a 7-4 to lead here in the top of the seventh with our big man Thomas up. He's knocked in three of our seven runs. Here he's going to ground out, though. So there's one down quickly and Darren Jackson up. And he strikes out. 
And pitching, by the way, now for Houston is Dave Varis. And I think he was real. I, re I think I remember Dave Varis. And that's going to be a deep fly ball for a Jack. That is going to be nice. Who was that? Hmm. The guy before range, maybe it was Ventura. That might have been Ventura. So now it's 8-4. We are just, we're taking it to Houston. This postseason run has been some kind of a magical tour. In fact, really, since about the um, three-quarter point of the season on, we've been, we've been playing great. For a while, it was touch and go. But anyway, we've got McCaskill now dealing to Steve Finley. In the bottom of the seventh, and he hits a, a single because basically the left fielder didn't feel like he wanted to play the ball. So now we're going to pitch to Bagwell with a man aboard. Takes the running game away from them, basically, um, as far as stealing. But now they've got runners at the corners. I guess I better go get somebody up. Um, now we'll get Roberto Hernandez up. I'm not really against getting Hernandez up now. Eight to four. And we got the lead runner. And did we get the double play? No. So a run scores. It's eight five with one out and uh, Luis Gonzalez up. And he's going to hit a slow roller to third that um, Ventura is just going to put in his pocket. Oh, boy. And that's going to be a pop out. I am going to go get, um, I'm going to go get McCaskill now uh, with two down. No, I can't. He's still warming up. Wow. All right, well. I mean, but now by the time we get back out in the field, he's going to be tiring. Karkovice is up, though. Right now, we got to worry about our, our lineup, and Karkovice is up. We have an 8-5 lead over Houston here in Game 1 of the World Series. And that is going to be a ground out for um, Chris Morgan, or for uh, Karkovice and Chris Morgan up. And... Uh, that's an out, and I and of course, really, it doesn't matter. I can't pinch hit for McCaskill because I can't get down low enough in the lineup, and I can't uh, move the screen up. So anyway, but maybe Hernandez is ready now, just ready. Yeah, he is. So we will bring in Roberto Hernandez. We'll have the top of the order up in the ninth inning, and in the bottom of the eighth here, we've got a three-run lead in game one of the World Series against the Houston Astros. And he induces a pop-up from the first batter. And uh, Jeff Beal is the next batter. And he's going to maybe pop out, did he? Yep, he did. Karkovice got that. And... Uh, so now we are at the very bottom of their order, and there is a ripped double. No, a triple. I stand corrected. They hit a triple. Biggio with a triple. Okay, that was the top of their line when they were back to the top. And Finley is up. Let's hope we can stop him from scoring, and we can, it looks like. Fly ball to center field. We still got the three-run lead. And Joey Cora up. And he's going to ground first. One away quickly. Top of the lineup here for us. Azigian, the second hitter. And he strikes out. And that brings up Pete Harnish. Are you going to let him ha bat? Or no, Pete Harnish is pitching. We got another home. Did we get another home run? I can't believe we got another home run. Unbelievable. Was that Thomas? Frank Thomas delivers his third home run of game one.
and gives us a 9-5 to lead. Unbelievable Frank Thomas. And he's and the next guy strikes out, and who cares? So we got a 9-5 lead here. We got uh, Roberto Hernandez on the mound, still throwing smoke. And that is going to be a deep fly to right for one down. And Ken Caminiti up. And he, Ken Caminiti is going to rip a hit. An opposite field hit to left field. So, uh, you got one on, one out. That's a fly ball to center. There's two down. We are this close to winning game one of the World Series against the Houston Astros. And that's going to be a uh, ground out, and we win game one. Lots of nice celebration going on out there, but we do have a game two to go to. And so we'll take a look at the, a real quick look at the box score. Let me move myself up here for that so that you can see what the box score was. So we, uh, we batted, we were 12 of 40. They were 15 of 38. It's better hitting as far as just hitting, but Frank Thomas, man, I mean, the dude, four for five with three home runs and four RBIs. That was crazy. McDowell went five. He gave up 10 hits and four runs. Um, McCaskill went two and gave up one run. And then Hernandez finished it off. Two innings, no earned runs. And so that is what we're going to take into game two. And also, this game, uh, the game one in the game itself was October 20th, which is my birthday. So I won game one of the World Series on my birthday. Finish today and review the rotation. And uh, yeah, it's going to be Wilson Alvarez is the next batter. I'm fine with that. Um, Again, I'll let you just look at the lineup. I mean, it's I expect it to be pretty much the same, and it is, except we have Wil Wilson Alvarez batting ninth instead of McDowell. And for them, they've got Doug Drabeck on the mound and Drabeck batting uh, ninth instead of Swindell. But it looks like otherwise, you've pretty much got the same lineups, um, more or less. I don't know if Gonzalez batted second for them. Like last time, they had Biggio leading off, and they had Finley batting maybe in fact second and Gonzalez was down a little in the lineup but it looks like the same guys are actually playing and so with that we're going to go on to the game and uh we are going to swing away with Joey Cora let's see if we can lead this game off in as good a fashion as we let off the first game uh this time of course, going up against another pitcher, and that's a line out to the pitcher, who is, again, Doug Drayback. And so one down, Gian up. Gian uh, going down the line, going right down, not really right down the line. He only got a single out of that. But now Frank Thomas is up with Gian aboard. Had four home runs last time. They walk him this time, of course. I mean, you got to be scared about what that guy can do. And now Ventura is up with two on and only one out, and he strikes out on something up in his eyes. And that brings up Darren Jackson. Darren Jackson is going to rip the ball up the middle. Am I going to score? I'm going to send him. I got to send him. I got to send him. I got to send him, and he's out. Uh, all right. Well, he put that one on me, maybe. I mean, but who knows? The next guy might have gotten out, so it might not have mattered. That's going to be a rip down the line for uh, their first batter, who this time is, is it Finley? Yeah, Finley. Um, Luis Gonzalez is up. And he is going to hit a home. No, no. That was a fly out. And is he out? No, probably not. Oh, I've got an incomplete defensive lineup. Why? Who's missing? Oh, 
a pitcher. I need another pitcher. All right. Um, we'll put in Danny Pfeiffer. Oh, wait a minute. No, I don't want to warm him up. I'm going to put in Danny Pfeiffer. And we're going to go back to the game action. I guess we got an injury out there to uh, Alvarez, which also is not helpful. But Pfeiffer is a, he's a, a he was a, he started some games this uh, year for us. So there's two down. It's still 0-0. Zero, zero. Pfeiffer out there, and he's dealing to Bijan. And that's going to be a ground ball. And uh, Tim Raines is the batter. And he strikes out. That brings up Ron Carco Vice. And he's going to strike out. And up steps Chris Morgan. And that isn't out, so... No runs across. Pfeiffer back out there to pitch to Ken Caminiti. He strikes out. Tony Eusebio, the catcher for them, is up. He caught game one as well, and he is going to walk. So they have a man aboard with Kevin Smallmouth Bass up, and he is going to walk as well. So he walks the first. He walks the next two guys after getting the first out right off the bat. And then he strikes the next guy out. So now there's two down with two on and Doug Grayback, their pitcher up. And he does fan him as I totally expected would happen. And now Pfeiffer is the batter against Grayback. Let's see if he can get a base hit or get on by an error like uh, McDowell did last game, which was key for us. There is one down now, though, with uh, Cora up at the plate. And Cora's going to rip a base hit, looks like, and he does. So Core is aboard with one down and Ozzy Gian up. And Ozzy Gian go in the uh, opposite field in infield and uh, gets thrown out by the shortstop. Um Okay, Pfeiffer out there dealing. He's dealing. And it's I believe it's still zero zero. Yes, it is. So it's still zero zero. It would be nice if we could go up two games to nothing, but man, with the injury to Alvarez, who knows what that is and how bad it is. Um and then uh Jeff ba he's dealing to Bagwell with two down and Bagwell is going to fly out deep to right field. No runs come across. And uh, that is going to bring up our main man, Frank Thomas. And let's see, Frank Thomas. Frank Thomas, another home run. Do you believe this? What is that? Four home runs? Four home runs in the first two games. The Astros, you would think they would learn and they just would stop pitching to him. But uh, Robin Ventura is up. Robin High Ventura is going to fly out to center field. So that's going to be the first out. And uh, that brings up Darren Jackson. And he's going to strike out. And up steps Tim Rock Reigns Sr. And he's going to hit it between second and first. We got a man aboard with Karkovice. If he could just hit a home run. Well, he walked. I'll take it. And that brings up Chris Morgan. Chris Morgan, let's see what he's going to do. He's going to get aboard. No, no. It's a great catch in center field that ends the inning. I would love to see Pfeiffer get through this inning. I got to tell you. Because if he can get through this inning, I can put somebody up in the bullpen. and we Well, we can't pinch hit for him. But. They get a leadoff double anyway. So Pfeiffer might be, he might be uh, winding down anyhow. But there's a strikeout, so he does have an out. He's got an out man at second. If we can st strand that guy, no, he walks the next batter. Um, Kevin Bass is up. 
it is looks like getting near the bottom of their lineup oh you let that drop why oh god i could have sworn chris could have chris uh, uh whatever his name is could have gotten that ball all right, I'm, I'm still trying to get Pfeiffer through this inning. I've really got to try to get him through. No, he lets that drop in front of him, too. So now they've got the bases loaded. It's a tie game, one down. He's probably running out of gas, but I, I really got to try to get him through this inning. Oh, God. I didn't want it to I didn't want it to come to this. I really was hoping he could get through this. No, he didn't do it. Ah, so. Yeah, they uh, they are probably going to end up tying this series. We we had some bad luck with that with uh, the injury to Alvarez. Now I am going to just get him through the inning cuz um if he I mean if he gets another out, I don't even know if he's capable of getting another out. He just hit a batter. So now that's two aboard. He struck a guy out this inning. All right, there's an out, and uh, that's two down. What happened? He got? Did he get injured or something? I guess he did. Well, I guess we're going to bring in Jason Bure because he can go long, too. He was a, a former starter. Six to one. And that's going to be it. Uh, but we're down by five now. And now we got to battle our way back like the Phillies did in game one of the real world series with Jason Berea out on the mound. Now he's a guy, you know, I would normally never have brought him in. But in a six to one blowout in the fifth inning yeah why not and that's two down quickly and um uh, doug drabeck the pitcher you would think he can get him out he maybe did yes a deep fly to left so uh beret um or no th that was us we had the deep fly to left wait a minute no did we no yeah it's the bottom of the fifth so beret is out there pitching and that's going to be a home run all right i am going to i mean this game is a foregone conclusion so i am going to sim the rest of the game so that it's not the longest video in the world where you already know the outcome of the game. So let's go to quick play. Quick play the entire game. And uh, we end up losing eight to two. Surprise, surprise. There's the box score, if you want to look at the box score. I mean, the important thing is that I let you guys see the game, or at least most of the second game. So now you know we are tied at well, one game apiece going back to Chicago here in the World Series. And, uh, yeah, we went all the way almost through our bullpen again, which is also not going to help me, although... I'm thinking that there's a day off between um, this game and the next game, so that will help the bullpen. But anyway, we're going to leave the game and uh, finish today. And uh, that is going to be it for me. Sports.